What's up guys, yo video peace here and here is episode 2 of Detective Pikachu. I, I think I might actually call, accidentally call it the Pikachu Detective at times, I don't know why, I just like, I, I definitely call myself like doing it while like editing and whatnot, but nonetheless, we are here, episode 2, uh, there's a dead ass uh, apalm on the ground, let's, let's, let's check him for a little bit. It's got a lot of fine scratches, maybe it was knocked down in a quarrel with someone. What? There's something under its body? I wonder what this is. Great job, Tim. This seems like a clue. Oh, it's a black feather. Interesting. Alright, so I guess we could keep exploring. Let's check the let's check the tomato. It's a deep red from the ketchup and berry. Mm-hmm. And this is a spicy berry, so it doesn't seem like it would have been holding the berry to eat it. Okay. And what about this? these newspapers? It's a beat-up copy of today's morning paper. Oh, details on the Ice Down Highway incident. It's tough to read, but it's ripped. Okay. Uh, what about this can? The soft drink can. Maybe the Apom was drinking it. If anything, it seems like trash. It's empty. Perhaps it rolled here from that garbage can over there. Maybe the trash scattered when it fell over? Maybe. Uh... Is there anything else I could check? Oh, whatever this is up here. Leaves? Hmm, they're withered. But they can see- they can like grass. But they seem like grass that grows around- oh jeez, I cannot talk. Alright. Okay, seems like we're pretty much done investigating here. Signs of a quarrel? The lost necklace? Seems pretty certain that Apom was attacked by someone. But who? Let's look into that first. Do you remember how to investigate? Write down the details of the incident and things you've come to understand in your notebook. Got it. We'll start with the unconscious Apom. All right. First issue at hand is who or what could have attacked the Apom. Hmm. Whoever did that probably has the necklace, you see? Yes. When you investigated the scene, did you happen to find any potential clues to the culprit? Yes, we did. Um, the black feather. So, what about the black feather? This is just a theory. Okay. The Apom was climbing the tree and got attacked by the owner of the black feather. Hmm. Does the feather call to mind a certain characteristic of the culprit? Possibly. Pokemon with feathers, a hard Pokemon. I would say a Pokemon with feathers. No doubt about it. This feather is from a Pokemon. Yo, he sounds so confident in his tone. I like it. The park and we'll search for who this feather belongs to, right? Yes. That will be the first step in our investigation. And when you see Pokémon with feathers, be sure to jot them down. All right, you got it. Okay, let's get going. Just make sure you keep up. Oh, shut up. All right. All right who is the owner of the black feather? Oh, what? What now? You gotta gather information. Let's start by talking to that lady who's cleaning things up over at the crime scene. It's, what lady? Ah. Hmm. See, it's empty. Okay, nothing. Hi. Right. Hello, lady. Apom was just in a quarrel by that tree over there. Has it calmed down? Yeah. Oh, good. I was scared, so I didn't want to get too close. Now I can do my job. Yeah, it can be dangerous to be in the middle of a fight. So was Apom fighting with another Pokemon? Did you see anything? Sorry, but I don't know. I kept my distance. Ugh, you're fucking useless. We're looking for a Pokemon. Do you know whose feather this is? It seems like it came from a- No! Alright, about bird Pokemon. There are four kinds. The park is divided into three areas. And each area has a different assortment of bird Pokemon living in it. There are three areas? <laughs> this is the fountain area. Go right to find the cafe area. The nature, the nature area is to the left. Alright, interesting. Oh, yeah. We guys, okay, let's ask, for, let's ask for the Pokemon in each area, shall we? Right, the, right, we have Pidov here in the fountain area. They often play around the fountain. Okay, so Pidov. Cafe area. Talo, all right, and then the nature area, Starly and Murkrow. Can you tell me about each of them? Sure, Starly always forms groups of three, 
that Murkrow is self-indulgent and it seems to fly about, including going outside the park during the daytime. Alright, I think that's it. Thank you. Little dumpster. <laughs> Nothing going on there. Alright, um... Let's see. All right, let's move all, move maps, I guess. But how are you guys doing today? I'm doing quite well. I'm gonna try to get these out every day. Because, like, just to, like, get through it. And, like, also upload Pokemon Coliseum. Because I need to record more of those. Ooh, Starly. Hello. Three is definitely a crowd. I, I, I like these little, those little text things they threw in there. Starly. Alright, ask about the Black Feather. You don't, huh? Actually, someone attacked Apom in the fountain area. And this is a clue to the culprit. Oh, and we don't think you're suspicious, but can you? Can we have one of your feathers? Great, thanks. Your understanding has helped us a lot. Alright, so we got Starly's feather. Oh. Ask about Murkrow. We haven't seen it. Do you know where he's gone? For shiny things? Oh, so it likes sparkling things. Collects them and takes them to its nest. Okay, so there's the Apom in this area as well. Alright. Murkrow's habits. Alright. And let's ask about Apom. Hmm, you almost got your feathers plucked once. I guess those Apom have been making a lot of trouble here too. Alright. Oh, look, it's Apom. The fuck? Oh, Poochiena. What, what are you doing? Poochie? Don't get in the way when I'm playing, it says. Oh, oh god. Hmm, if we could just settle down Poochiena. How do... Alright, so we're gonna have to... I'm sure we're gonna have to figure that out. At some point. Uh, hello, sir. It's pitch black, huh? Maybe it's that one's? But there are other black colored ones. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about Starly. Okay, and Murkrow. Oh, Apom and Murkrow. And then that's about Apom. We'll come down while Poochiana is there. The Poochiana recently settled in the park, and ever since then, it's been like this. Okay. So, we got a little bit of information. Oh, Mighty Anna. Yikes. Hello. <laughs> Queen of the park. Why does a Pokemon rule this park and not, like, you know, a human? Anyway. Hey, Marina, you know, we want to talk to you for a bit. Well, even though it's nap time, one Poochiana hasn't come back, so the other one won't sleep. And it's causing Marina some trouble. Interesting. If we find it, we'll tell it to come home. So have a chat with us, please. Okay. Let's ask about all this stuff. Do you recognize the feather? Yeah, it's definitely not you. Oh, it's always playing the flower beds and shrubbery over there. I mean, I'm sure it's that Poochie did. Was that Poochie only passed before, maybe? Their cries loud, so Poochie always follows them around. Seems like a brutal relationship. Interesting. Maybe that's the well, something we'll need. What is Murkrow like? You don't encounter it often? Okay. Alright, so, this is what we're going to do. Hold on. Oh. First, we've got to do something with Poochiana. What can we do to settle it down? Get angry at it, persuade it, find the other one. I guess find the other one? Yeah, we get both of them together. Then Mighty Anna will pull them to bed. Let's look for Poochiana. So, I'm guessing... That, so, we got to find the other uh, Poochiana. So, let's... Hmm... Okay, maybe it's at a different part of this park? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, what happens if we... Ah, yeah, same thing. Oh, uh, let's go Let's go back to where we originally came from, shall we? Where, where is Pikachu? I don't know. F forget it. We don't need him. Nah, I'm playing. Alrighty. 
Oh. Oh, it looks like we're having shack. You can always talk to me, you know? Of course. Uh, okay, that was interesting. Oh wait, trash can. Oh, it's empty. All right, thank you. Oh look, he's chilling on the bench. Oh, tickle it with the black feather. All right, well we tried. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Kind of busy. Well, I don't give a fuck. What's he so busy with? Let's just keep asking him questions to annoy him. Okay, he doesn't say a word. What are you up to? Looking for something. I seem to have dropped my precious pen. Okay, so we have a little side side thing. The, the missing pen, it seems. Alright, let's talk to this pit of. Eats, sleeps, and flies away. That's literally me. It's minus, minus the flyaway part, anyway. <laughs> the pig dove seems like they flew away because you startled them. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right, Tim. You let our suspects get away. You just get... Yeah, aren't they? I'm glad that... I'm glad to see that you appreciate them. Hopefully we can gather the pit dove again, so somehow. How about you ask this guy? Hi. About the A-Pom. No, sorry. I didn't notice anything. I've been feeding the pit of. Okay. Black feather. Okay, so we got we got a little little lead. You gotta examine the pit of. Did you see a necklace? It has a blue decoration on it. No, I haven't seen it. Why, haven't, why did we ask him that? But, like, we didn't ask the other people about the necklace. That's interesting. It's unusual to see Apom in front of the station. Normally, they don't. Leave the park. Interesting. Alright, and then about Pitov. Alright, so we can get food and give it to him so he can bring back a pit of. Alright. Yo, Scrafty? Yo, oh, Scraggy, that's what I meant. Alright. You don't remember kicking it and seeing it? Oh, okay. Alright, about the kid. Oh, I guess he's kicking into a kid that I can't see right now. Alright. Done with him. Hello, kid. A fight? I didn't notice anything like that. Uh, I, I sounds good, man. I played soccer like a long time ago, but got bored of it really quickly, honestly. Have you ever seen a black feather like this? It's pitch black, huh? I feel like I've seen it somewhere, but I don't know. It's fucking useless. Alright, no, and about Pucciana. Alright, he hasn't seen it come this way. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep going. I think this will be the uh, cafe area, probably. So... We're looking for the other Pucciana, see if we can find a pen for that guy. Oh, oh hello, sir. Yes? About your palm. Yo, it's, that, that text box has been coming up so much because it's what you ask him. Oh, was there a fight? I don't... Oh, well, that thing's rustling, so we're going to go check that out in a second. Black feather. Maybe tail, though? Well, hmm. I feel like maybe I've seen one where the pond is. Okay, interesting. Alright, what's going on here? Is this poo- Oh, it's to pig. Filled with healthy energy. I like that. Tepig? pig? I have something to say. Alright, about the necklace. Is that something you can eat? No, don't eat it. Don't even taste it. Yo, this guy is hungry. 
Alright, about it hiding. You looking for berries? Did you find any? Wait, did it give us anything? I don't know. Oh, hey, hey look, a tailor. Preening is its favorite pastime. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Okay. Doesn't want its pretty feathers to be touched by our dirty hand. Wow. What a bitch. Alright, so that's interesting. Hmm. Let's see. Any mailbox? Nope. Let's talk to these people. About except the one she's wearing. Do you recognize this bike? The tail around here are kind of black, but maybe the tail feathers are more beautiful. They are always preening, so lots of feathers lying around when they are done. Interesting. Okay. Oh well. I have one on myself. Is this what you mean? Oh okay, no, that's not the one. All right, so we got a couple leads on the feather bean tailor. That's that's helpful. Hmm. All right. Hello. Would you like to order something? All right. Uh. Let's see about pit of food. So I heard there was a way to get pit of some food. Yeah, we have some por portions made from stuff like scraps of bread. Oh look, we got food. Lit. All right, place an order. You drink coffee? Yeah, I don't just drink it. I love it. So order me one up. You got Slurp Puff two coffees, please. Okay. That was pretty fast. <laughs> I personally am not a coffee person. Oh, nice work. This is the first time I've seen a Pokemon drink coffee. Hey, Tim. Delicious things aren't limited to Pokemon or people. Drink coffee under a blue sky. Isn't it awesome? Of course, I know a better coffee than this one. Interesting. Alright. So we got the pit of food. Let's, uh, let's go back and give it to that one dude. And then I'm probably gonna wrap, wrap up the episode soon. Hey, my man. You got some food? Yep. Hey, there they are. Ah, so soothing. I only feel relaxed when I'm playing with the pit of. They're so cute. George. Who's George? Hugh McCoy. Oh, you named him? Seems pretty tired. <laughs> Let's keep quiet for his sake. Alright. Hey, pit of, can we ask you something? So, you saw a palm, but don't remember if you attacked it or not. Interesting. All right, so we got Pidove's feather. Hmm. Okay. So we got Pidove's feather. Oh, get over here. Let's see. These are all the people we've ran into. The Pokemon. I'm sorry. To. All right. These are all the testimonies. Very nice. All the evidence. Neither of these look like the feather that we found, honestly, so... Oh, why do I click on this? Oh, is this hmm. It? Oh, no, not the same. This pit of feather has a lot more gray in it than it does black. Okay. Hmm. Let's look for the owner of that black feather. It should be the one that has the necklace. So it's not Pitov and it's not Starly. Interesting. Hmm. It's kinda of, kind of a funky tune. Um hmm. We still didn't find the other uh Mayan uh Puchiana, I think. Oh you wanna talk but Oh, 
I see what you're doing there. Trying to recreate it. Okay. It's always important to consider every little thing. But you know that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Well, okay. Let's go back over here for a sec. Hmm. Because I feel like talking to that Apom will be helpful. Hold on. Okay. Oh yeah, Pujian's gonna attack us. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so we can't go anymore over here. Hold on, let me, let me talk to my Annie about Pujiana. Playing in the flower beds and shrubbery over there. Flower beds and shrubbery. Let's see if we can find that real quick. Actually, actually, what's what's all of this happening? That looks like a different area. I guess I guess that doesn't hold any importance to us. Hmm. Oh, I oh I hear Pucciana. I heard I hear something. Oh, oh, what do we have here? Hey, there he is. Whoa. Whoops. Pooch. <laughs> Pooch! Hopefully we'll sleep quietly now. Let's go have a, a look at the pond. Alright, so like we'll keep we'll head back now and see what we can do from here. Hey. Hey, they went back to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, went home. Ah, right, yeah, so both of them are sleeping now, so now we can talk to Apom. Now that Pooji is sleeping, I guess you've been freed up. Alright. You're stuck in the treetop all day, so you don't know about your pal? Interesting. Ah, so when you were playing with your pal a little while ago, you inadvertently climbed the tree that Murkwell lives in. Murkwell attacked because it saw you were intruding on his territory, and since then, the Apom and Murkrow in the park always fight. Interesting. Hey, right, about Murkrow Nest. The thick tree near the pond. Thanks. Alright. And then, should have been. What? It's Murkrow's? Yeah, okay, so we have a confirmed lead. You guys quarrel all the time, so there's no mistaking it. So, we got all that info. That's pretty helpful. So, um, I think we're going to end things off here. Uh, next time, we will probably run into Murkrow. At least go to Murkrow's nest and hopefully find the culprit behind all this and maybe get the necklace back. So, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment, subscribe for more videos. And I will check you guys later. Peace out.